So, isang madali ang grocery kanina because um, we just heard in the news that it's gonna be slick again or icy, mm, icy day tomorrow. So, uh, biglaan kami naging nag na grocery. Biglaan kami na pag grocery ni Riley. Um, most of the time, mga grocery kami um, after church, Sunday after church. Kaya Today's Friday. We're not planning to get out, but when we heard about the news about snowing and being freezing cold weather again, so nang grocery kami para hindi na kami lumabas kasi mas nakakatakot mag-drive if it's slick and icy kaysa snow. So ayan. So mag ano ko tayo mag konting haul. So we'll start with the veggies or produce. Bumili kami ng mushroom. Um, bell peppers. Uh, I'm planning to do a kebab again tonight. So, bumili ako ng parsley. At least my fresh parsley na ako. And then, I got um, squash. Yellow squash. I got zucchini. And then, banana all the time. Tapos, dahil malamig, magsabaw tayo. I got butternut squash, kalabasa. In, it's the only squash that I found that um, close, closer or mas, uh, mas uh, medyo matamis siya. Uh, same ng kalabasa sa atin sa Pinas. So, yan lang yung uh, medyo bit ko na taste. Kasi yung ibang, ano ba yun, parang pumpkin na. We got mango. Dalawang klase ng mango ang binili ko. Uh, kasi John loves to eat mango as well. Um, we've been buying this type of mango for smoothie. Pero hindi siya maasin. Hindi din siya medyo matamis. Um, it's just good for smoothie. And hopefully this one matamis at hindi maasin. Kasi gusto niya ang ano eh. Gusto niya kumain ng mango paminsan-minsan. It is from Philippines actually. So hopefully matamis. And then I got onion. Dalawa lang yung binili ko kasi malalaki. And then I got lemon to marinate um, meat. I got potato, roasted potato. And then, umu ako nito para sabaw. Um, cabbage or lettuce. Pero ano siya? Mag ma maganda siya gamitin pang sabaw. And then I got frozen um, peas and carrots. Uh, my, my, um, I saw a recipe. I saw some recipe in YouTube. I guess it's YouTube or TikTok. Na ano, uh, riblets yung ginamit niya. Parang minudo or michado style. Kaya, gayahin natin. And then, move on. I got a uh, French vanilla flavor coffee, coffee pods. Um, for the Keurig, si Riley mis, uh, minsan ay ingit sa amin na magkape. So at least this one is not that strong. And, okay, yeah. Pero uh, hinahaluan ko pa rin na maraming gatas. I got me some Cetaphil um, cleansing wipes. We got some frozen waffles. Almond milk for me. For us, uh, oat. Baby cheese, um, Swiss cheese. I got some two cornbread. Kasi si John, pag, when I'm cooking some soup, John, John doesn't eat rice with it. He likes to eat um, cornbread with it. So, ayan. Got tayo ng cornbread then. I got some Ritz. Alright, we'll pick up some Pringles. And then, a pack of eggs. And then we got Tostitos. We got some old Texas sunbeam bread. <laughs> and then coming Coke. Like Pabili din si Jan's Sprite. Ano pa ba? Oh, we got um, Gatorade. Um, gusto ni Riley mag ano nito sa school. Kaya I choose the small one. So we got two flavored Gatorade. I got this Downy 
I like this scent compared to the what do you call the original scent, the pink one? I just discovered it last a uh, couple of weeks ago. I like it. It's the cool cotton uh, scent. Uh, ano hindi siya kasi si Jan, uh, si Jan, si Clyde at Riley sobrang masila ng balat. Um, for so long, even until now, I use Riley the clear um, Tide. Yeah, um, for sensitive skin. And it's very, very rare na nilalagyan ko ng, uh, ano ba yan, fabric softener yung mga damit ni Riley. But when I try to use this, a little bit of her laundry, wala siyang reaction. Hindi siya nag, nag uh, kasi minsan na may rashes. Same as Clyde. Clyde, uh, I've been using Clyde the um, Drift. Uh, laundry detergents, yan yung ginagamit ko sa mga laundry ni Clyde. And then I tried using that on their clothes too, and no reaction on their skin, so it's good. Gusto gusto ko pag mabango yung mga nilalamhan. And then lastly, I got all this meat. So in our local grocery over here, um, it's called Brookshire. Um, I guess sa mga ano lang yan, mga countryside na grocery store. Yan, parang sa natatandaan ko, in North Carolina, it would be a food lion. Mga ganyan na, um, ano ba yan, mga supermarket. So, dito sa amin, meron silang mga pa-promo sa meat. Um, if you choose four types of meat, pwede mong iba-ibahin. Pwede ding, uh, the same type of meat. As long as it's four pack, it would be $19.95. So, ito yung mga pinili ko tulad sa amin it's super worth it kasi tulad sa amin tatlo lang kami minsan si Riley pag nagsasabaw ako sabaw lang din sa kanya hindi siya kumakain ng karne and then konti lang yung mga nagagamit kong karne so um, maganda siya na ano iniiba-iba ito pinili ko is assorted uh, pork chops madami na siya so kung itong isa lang ang bibilhin ko it cost uh, $9 already and $0.87. Cents. So, ito pa lang ha. So, grab ang save. And then, this one is pork rib... Um, pork riblets. Or parang ano siya. Type ng rib. Kung hindi ko alam yung type ng mga, <laughs> mga meat. But this is um, Combo County Street Pork Rib. But it's $6. So, yung dalawa pa lang, ano na siya, total amount na siya ng 4-pack. And this is the chicken boneless, uh, skinless thigh. And this cost $7. And this one is the riblet na $5. Ayan. So, ano na siya, uh, pork chop pa lang, parang ano na, naluluto ko niyan, mga 3 or 4 meals. So, ang ginagawa ko, is uh, nilalagay ko siya, tinatransfer ko siya sa Ziploc. So, I will estimate it kung ilang meat yung magagamit ko, ilang slice yung magagamit ko in one particular meal. And then, ilalagay ko siya sa freezer and then when it's time to cook, I'll just take one Ziploc or whatever meat that I have and then exactly na siya for that type of recipe that I will cook or else I will just add another Ziploc. So, Hindi siya, hindi ka nagtato ng medyo maraming, maraming meat tapos konti lang yung nagagamit mo if that makes sense. <laughs> Ganyan yung system ko dito sa bahay pag um, bumibili ako ng maraming uh, karne, nilalagay ko siya sa ziplock. Then, ano, tsaka pa siya i-freeze kasi at least yung nasa ziplock, yun, yun na lang yung, uh, yun na lang yung itato ko instead of the big bulk pack of meat. So, ayan. So, I will store this grocery. Ayan lang yung mga pinila, pinamili namin. Konti lang. Madalian lang. Just for the weekend. Kasi, for weekdays naman, hindi ako nagluluto masyado. Kailangan, isa pa dito sa bahay, yung niluluto ko is, I want to make sure na walang leftover. Kasi, walang kumakain ng leftover dito sa bahay. <laughs> um, and then, ayaw nila yung, Ano ba yun? Repeat na pagkain. Yan yung mga ka-housemate ko dito. And then, aside from that, during the week weekdays, andun ako sa hospital with Clyde. I'm staying with him. So, 
walang nagiinit ng pagkain kung may leftover man yung itong dalawang natira dito they will just eat outside or buy something outside and for to go and then eat over here ganyan yung sistema nila so pinabawian ko na lang ganyan ganyan yung madali kasi John is very tired as well he goes to work come home early pick up early from school and then yun lang yung siguro they only have two three hours to eat and prepare for the next day again so sobrang hirap we have to divide and conquer ika nga nila but we will get there kicking and screaming so, so ayan kaya kung napapansin nyo dito sa bahay sobrang gulo um, ayaw kong ibahin ang system nila as much as I want to organize I I try to what is it? I try to stop myself kasi ito yung nakasanayan kung kung mag-organize ako may gusto sila na hindi nila makikita kasi iniba ko yung ano iniba ko yung arrangement uh, and then it just cause chaos um, you know it 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 change a lot it's their system for now uuwi ako dito sa bahay I just want to clean up um, just make a little bit I'll just make the house a little bit tidy, uh, vacuum, mop, clean the bathroom, but organizing the house, um, I don't really have to do that a lot now because, kasi nga, di ba, pag inorganize ko, may nawawala, nawawala sa paningin nila na usually ginagamit, it costs chaos and I don't like it. So, kung ano yung nakasanayan nila dito sa bahay, just be it. <laughs> hanggang sa mauwi ako at um, stay na kami dito sa, ni Clyde sa bahay doon na ako magsistart ng mga organize and I will for sure vlog it and document it in my channel sa so, totoo lang guys it really bothers me um, hindi ako sanay uh, it gives me stress yung mga nakikita kong mga papilis mga, lalo na dito ngayon tax season Papilis is everywhere, but then again, if I pick it up and then store it somewhere that it for me it's cluttered, hindi na naman niya makakita pag nag ano siya. He will do the paperwork. So, and by pabayaan na lang natin. <laughs> so, yes, I will store all this grocery and I'll be back to you later. Riley's taking a bath and it's getting really cold outside. Um, we are driving earlier from grocery, coming back home, and it, the road's getting a little bit icy. So, yes, I'm praying John will be home carefully and safely tonight. So, ayan, babalikan ko kayo mamaya.
natin na karne. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na nilalagay ko siya sa ziplock. So, ayan. So, meron na tayong siguro 3 weeks of worth na karne. So, ilagay natin siya sa freezer. Yung riblets, hindi ko na siya pinapak kasi kunti lang naman to. Uh, ito na yung lulutuin ko bukas or Sunday night. So, ayan lang siya. So, ayan. Pag itoto ko siya, lutuin natin lahat. So, ayan na. So, ayan. The rest of the day, siguro, I will, do, I will be doing laundry. Um, dito lang tayo sa bahay. Linis-linis. And manonood ng YouTube habang nagtutupi ng laundry. <laughs> ayan lang ang buhay. Kasi sobrang lamig. You can't go anywhere. Um... I just don't understand why Texas weather get crazy this year. For, I guess, almost four years na kami nakatira dito sa Texas, this will be the first time na mag-snow or mag-ice three times already in this year. And it's only March 2022. Ang alam ko, Texas is naturally a hot temperature state. Or ano ba yun? Mainit siya na state. But, not really this year. Um, early February, we got snow, iced, and then two weeks after that, we got iced, sleek road again, and then again this week. So, hindi ko alam ko kailan. I'm excited for spring. <laughs> I'm really done with winter. Um, so, ayan. We'll be doing laundry, cleaning a little bit of the house, and then... Magwa white <laughs>
it's 9.56. I'm currently editing the previous vlog. Um, hopefully, I'll upload ko siya. Um, mahangin sa labas. So, yung internet namin is mahina. So, but hopefully, I'll upload ko siya today, tonight. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much sa mga nag-support sa channel ko. Kahit sobrang bago pa. I am so shocked sa ano ba tawag doon? Progress. <laughs> Basta, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart sa lahat ng mga sumasuporta at nanonood ng video. And I will end this vlog for today and see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!